Well, here's another property. It's known as the coefficient of volume expansion or volume expansivity. The symbol for the volume expansivity is equal to beta. And it's by definition 1 over the specific volume, the rate of change of specific volume with respect to temperature holding pressure constant. And this property you will see in natural convection. When you get into a whole class called heat transfer, you'll study forced convection and natural convection. Forced is when you have a pump or a fan and it's moving it across the surface. Natural convection is you just have nothing to make it want to move, but if you have a hot region and a cold region, let's say I have a room and it has a hot side and a cold side, the hot air will try to buoy up in a gravitational field. Look, give me the symbol for the gravitational field. And the cold will sink. Hot air rises, cold air sinks. And so the strength of the natural convection will be proportional to beta. It'll be a property that's used in a Rayleigh number or Grashoff number um, to, to characterize the strength of natural convection. So for this is the property, beta. It's 1 over rho. D, I'm sorry, 1 over the specific volume times the rate of change of specific volume with respect to temperature holding pressure constant. Some books will show you that it's equal to uh, minus 1 over rho, the partial of rho, with respect to temperature holding pressure constant. Which one's accurate? They look similar, but there's a negative sign on that second one, isn't there? Guess what? They're, just, they're consistent, but how do you show that they're consistent? <coughs> well, um, let's do this. Uh, what is the relationship between uh, specific volume and mass density? Is that it? Is that the relationship? So uh, you can start with one side or the other. Beta is equal to 1 over V, whoops, 1 over V, the partial V with respect to T holding P constant. Okay. Substitute, you get that this is now rho, isn't it? But I have to calculate the rate of change of 1 over rho with respect to temperature holding pressure constant. True? So there's the rub. What is the derivative uh, with respect to temperature of 1 over rho? Um, this is one of those where you just have to remember so you recall something from calculus. So if I have f as a function of x, right, and I want to differentiate uh, um, 1 over f with respect to x, how do I do that? Is it, is it the same as the differentiation of f to the minus 1 dx? So is it negative df, uh, here, negative f um, minus 2 df dx. How many people like that? All right. So in this case, if we apply that, it's rho times a negative um, rho to the negative 2 times the partial derivative of rho with respect to temperature holding pressure constant, if I did that right. So you get the negative 1 over rho, partial rho with respect to temperature holding pressure constant. It's what we set out to show is shown. They're consistent, but you do need that negative sign. It's not a typo when you go from specific volume to mass density.